Hi, this is uh, Realtor Mike Thomas, and real estate uh, prices are still fairly stable. Rental prices have dropped. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about that. Uh, rental prices cooling down in areas. What does that mean to buyers, investors, people, landlords, uh, tenants? Of course, the tenants are happy about that. Landlords are, are not. Um, maybe they bought a home and they rented it out and maybe they bought it at a high price competing with other uh, buyers out there. Uh, a few months ago, the market was on fire. There were multiple offers on everything that I put down on, um, that I put out on the market for sale. And some of those people were investors. They wanted to buy a property and rent it out. And uh, they wanted to cover their expenses. And now rental prices are cooling down. And of course, so our home prices as well. I think we're starting to see a cool, cooling down in that. It's not cold. It is what I consider to still be between hot and, and medium, uh, medium hot. So let's take a look at uh, rental prices. What five cities are affected the most in rental prices? Uh, and <clears throat> the first city, uh, according to CNBC, um, is Tallahassee. Uh, one bedroom apartment uh, actually decreased 6.5%. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of overview on Tallahassee. Tallahassee is the capital of Florida and uh, I live in the great state of Florida. And that is a college town. So um, University of Florida is actually in Tallahassee. And so there's a lot of students there. And I can see the price decreasing because college students just don't have the money to, the extra money to spend like normal people. So I can see that going on right there in Tallahassee. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Um, came down 6.2%, uh, which is an 8.2% uh, change over last year, which is Alaska. I don't know what to say about Alaska other than I know it's cold. I've never been to Alaska, but prices are definitely cooling down in Alaska. No pun intended. <laughs> um, Honolulu, Hawaii, 6.1% um, down over a month to month change, which basically means that um, I think Honolulu is peaking at the top of what renters are willing to pay or can pay in Honolulu. Uh, I've, I have a friend who uh, lived in Hawaii for many years. He said, Mike, you know, it's gotten really expensive to live in Hawaii. Real estate is expensive. Rental is expensive. It's just Expensive to live in Hawaii. I don't know what to tell you. So um, number four on the list is San Diego, California. Uh, San Diego, California is a very unique city because it is the last city before you cross over into Tijuana, Mexico. Um, so it is the southern tip of California. Um, and prices have come down 6.1%. So about six, six and a half percent decrease in rental prices as we're seeing here. Uh, for one bedroom apartment, that was uh, 2200 uh, or $2,320 uh, per month have actually come down in price. And so those are the home prices uh, for San Diego, California. <clears throat> Syracuse, uh, New York, for one bedroom, $930. Uh, which <laughs> a one bedroom normally means a studio. It all depends on where in the city you live. If you've ever been to New York, um, it is expensive to live as well. 6.1% decrease over last month. So we're seeing prices cool down in the rental market. And what does that mean for renters? Of course, renters are happy that uh, they're getting a break. The problem is, is if not a lot of uh, investors out there are buying properties to rent out, then what happens is that the supply shrinks 
and you're going to have a hard time finding an apartment to rent. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um, investors, they'd like to make a return on their investments. Of course, renters that are not ready to buy, um, you know, want the lowest possible rent. So what this means here is that um, that rental prices and real estate work hand in hand together uh, for investors that are buying real estate uh, to renters that are renting. We have actually a unique program here at the Thomas team at Premier Brokers International Real Estate. Uh, we have a very unique program now, which is a rent to own program where you can actually, um, if you're not ready to buy yet, maybe your credit isn't good. Maybe um, you may have a job relocation. Maybe you don't want to deal with putting a lot of money down. Um, all those you know, challenges in life that goes with buying a home. It's a very unique rent to own with equity program. So if you'd like some more information about that, please leave me a comment below. Give us a like, thumbs up, please. And subscribe to our channels for more notifications on this and many other important topics you may like in real estate.